In this video, I'll walk you through all of the Keyword Everywhere features that are integrated inside YouTube that you can use to do competitor research, optimize your videos, and grow your YouTube channel. So let's get started. Okay, so I will be reviewing all of the features available to you today. Now, I want to start at the very top. Now, when you do a search on YouTube, you will find the keyword level data just below the search box. Okay, so I searched for weight loss, and this is the keyword level data for this search term. Now, this data is pulled from the Google Keyword Planner. You can see the average monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, and the exact monthly search volume over the past 12 months. You can also click on this star to save it into your favorites list. Now this keyword level data will cost you one credit. Now across YouTube, every time Keywords Everywhere shows you keyword level data like the search volume for any keyword, that will cost you one credit. You will also see keyword level data for all of the keywords YouTube suggests for you in the dropdown, as you can see here. Seeing data next to these suggested keywords makes it very easy for you to see which of these search phrases are the most searched for. Next, I want to touch on all of the widgets on the right hand side, starting with this button right here. Find YouTube keywords for weight loss. So when you click on this button, it'll open up this report right here. Keywords everywhere uses YouTube's auto-suggest API to find long tail keywords for your search query. So in this instance, Keywords Everywhere found 2,000 YouTube keywords for weight loss. We also provide keyword level data for each one of these keywords as well. So you can see their respective average monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, the exact search volume for the past 12 months, and the trending percentage. Next up is the Search Insights widget. Now this widget gives you insights to the search results on this page. You can see the ranking difficulty of your search phrase. It's from 0 to 100, 100 being the most difficult to rank for. And you can see additional metrics that Keywords Everywhere has pulled after analyzing the videos that are ranking on this page. You can also click on Detailed Breakdown to get additional information for the top 20 ranking videos. Next up is the Trend Chart widget right here. Now this uses the Google Trends API for YouTube to estimate the search volume data over the past few years. Now if you hover over this graph, you can view the exact search volume for that specified time period for your search term. This is a great widget to analyze to see if your search term has any seasonality. Next up is the most used tags widget. So Keywords Everywhere analyzes the top 20 videos and it shows tags used by at least three of those top 20 videos. So it found seven most used tags and it also provided us with the average monthly search volume, the trend over the past 12 months, and how many videos are using these most used tags. And as we scroll down, we'll see the trending keywords widget right here. Now this widget shows keywords that are trending from the last 30 days. Now this is a great widget to analyze if you want to create videos around topics that are highly trending right now. And the last widget on the right hand side is the related keywords widget. Now this widget shows you keywords that are directly related to your search query. It also includes all of the keyword level data as well. Now this is a great widget to analyze if you want to take a look at additional topics and keywords that you can potentially create a video on that are closely related to your main search term. Now I want to touch on the metrics that are on each of the standard organic listings on this page. So for each of these standard organic listings, you can see these pills here that show you metrics specifically for this channel and video. And if you hover over the metrics, this window will pop up that provides you with additional information. It displays how many subscribers the channel has, the engagement score, how many average views per day the video receives, and it also includes metrics for the SEO score. Now, if you want to know how these metrics are calculated, you can just click on this link right here to learn more. Now, if you want to save on your credits as you are browsing 
using YouTube, you can very easily turn off the widgets on YouTube. So in order to do that, you need to go to the settings page and scroll down to supported websites and find YouTube. And if you toggle this off, keywords everywhere will not work on YouTube. So if you don't want to use up your credits as you are browsing YouTube, you can toggle this off. But if you still want keywords everywhere to work on YouTube, but you just want only certain widgets to be shown to you, scroll down to keyword usage for widgets and you can toggle any of these widgets on or off to help you save on your credits. Now I wanna show you two additional widgets that appear on the video watch page. So I opened up this video right here and you can see these two widgets on the right hand side. The first one is the video insights widget. Now this widget shows you insights specifically for this video. You can see the optimization score and if you hover over this I, you can see the elements that were analyzed to determine the optimization score. You can also see the engagement score, how many views per day it receives, and so on. Now, this is a great widget to look at when you are doing competitor research on a per video basis. Lastly is the tags widget. So this widget shows you all of the tags that this video is using. It also provides you with the keyword level data as well. So those are all of the keyword everywhere features for YouTube. So go ahead and analyze these widgets when you are doing your competitor research and also when you are trying to figure out what additional topics and videos to create. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.